Blackmore's uh, uh, vitamins. Their major shareholder has said that they're going to vote no. He is going to vote no against The Voice. His direct quote, and he invokes you, uh, Senator Price, here, where he says, if Jacinta tells me I should vote no, I am voting no. She obviously knows a lot more about uh, the Aboriginal issues than I do. I've not been convinced, convinced by the Prime Minister or anybody else that I should vote yes. It's no... Uh, it, uh, sorry, it's no different to business. If you're no good at sales, employ a salesman. There has now been, as a result of this, an attempt to boycott the company. Don't buy the company because one of its shareholders won't vote the way they want them to at the referendum. Jacinta, your name gets invoked, but this is apparently the, uh, the open, the passionate, the tolerant left that apparently, according to the polls, are winning. That's exactly right. This is the left that claimed that this whole uh, yes vote for the referendum is about bringing our country together and bringing us closer and creating reconciliation. It's got nothing to do at all with a transfer of power uh, dominating over, you know, the rest of Australia. And, and you know, firstly, I want to thank Marcus Blackmore for his support. I think that's wonderful. But this is the difference between the yes campaign and the no campaign. You won't get those on the no side uh, saying that we should boycott companies uh, that have decided that they're going to support the yes. I mean, they're idiots for doing so. Uh, and we might reach out and say, hey, listen, how about you get a balanced idea of what, um, what you you think you're doing here and an understanding of why there are those of us who are against this referendum. Uh, but instead, no, they want to go for blood. They want to bring down their opponents. They want to cancel uh, cancel, cancel anyone who disagrees uh, with, their, with their yes campaign, which is even more reason uh, to vote no and to go out and buy Blackmores. Yeah, uh, Steve Price, uh, boycott Blackmores is the thing that's been running around on Twitter. But again, Everyone's supposed to be confident enough in their own beliefs, and this is the side that apparently, according to the polls, is winning, what, about 65-35 right now? Yeah, I think that's going to turn around. I mean, I've been on the fringe of a couple of these advertising boycotts when I was on Talkback Radio and they try and attack people like Alan Jones and myself. They, they had a crack at us back then. They don't ever really work. But I must say I was disappointed in the current Blackmore's management that said, oh, well, Marcus Blackmore hasn't worked here since 2020. His views don't reflect those of the company. Well, Marcus Blackmore is doing what Marcus Blackmore should do, is having a personal view about this and good on him. And there's no way that a boycott of Blackmore's is going to have an impact on that company because it's too good a company.